Panhandle will soon be receiving millions of dollars from the freshly signed budget. Governor Ron DeSantis put pen to paper this week for the largest revenue plan for Florida in the state's history. Some of those funds are going to Jackson County for a brand new school. News 13's Emily McLeod is live in our studios tonight. And Emily, $35 million has been earmarked for a brand new K through 8 school in the eastern end of Jackson County. That's right, Amy. Both the Grand Ridge School and Sneeds Elementary serve students in Grand Ridge and Sneeds, but by spring 2024, they'll be on one campus. Superintendent Steve Benton says this will make dropping kids off at school a lot easier for parents. Jackson County will soon be home to a second K-8 through school. This is going to bring them into a modern building, state-of-the-art building. Benton says the district was able to receive more than $35 million in funding through special facilities, a program where the state provides money in smaller districts that don't have a high income base. But the governor uh, gave it all $35 million at one time. Uh, so yesterday he signed the budget, so we're getting ready to start planning for the new K-8 on the eastern part. However, because of inflation, Benton says the school could now cost around $42 million to build. We've got the lobbyists and, uh, and the construction manager asking for more money from the state. So we're hoping that, you know, that some of that will be approved. If it don't, we'll have to provide the extra through either the half cent sales tax or the property tax. But I mean, it's uh, with $35 million given to us, I mean, it's, it's a go. The new school will sit on 160 acres of property and will be located in between Sneeds and Grand Ridge on Highway 90. Benton says the new school is needed in this area of the district. You know, with new floor and new walls, it's just, it's got to be a cleaner uh, atmosphere for the kids. And, and also the students usually show a little pride in a, in a new building instead of being in a building that's 55, 60 years old. Benton also adds because the school is on a big enough piece of land, there are talks of possibly building a new high school after the K-8 school is fully finished. You know, because it's, uh, it's, there's plenty of room for sports fields and everything else to be built there. So it's all about the dollar, but we get there. Benton says they plan to begin construction on the new school in January 2022 and hope to have it finished by spring 2024. Amy? Thanks, Emily.